early dismantling of shelter objects and stable structures. New safe confinement was constructed at Chernobyl nuclear power plant site to ensure the personnel, population and the environment protection against the influence of sources of shelter objects nuclear and radiation hazards and to create conditions for the shelter object transformation into environmentally safe system. The metal structures from which the shelter object is made are unconnected and freely relying on each other and kept in the design position only due to friction forces. Taking into account possible extreme influences such as earthquakes or tornadoes and given that the protective structure has critical areas associated with overload and corrosion, the reliability of the shelter object is insufficient. As a result of the shelter object surveys and after their technical condition estimates, structures were identified, the collapse probability of which is unacceptably high. These shelter objects elements are called unstable structures. A reduction of such structures collapse risk can be achieved by their stabilization or dismantling. During 2004 and 2008, works were done to stabilize the shelter object structures that provided the acceptable safety level of the stabilized structures by the end of 2023. In the future, the unstable structures problem will be solved by their dismantling inside the localizing safe confinement structure. Commissioning of the new safe confinement infrastructure is planned in the nearest future. The new safe confinement, among the many different systems, is equipped with a main crane system designed, among others, for the dismantling of unstable building structures. The main crane system includes two 96-meter bridge cranes with the lifting capacity of 100 tons each. The crane bridges are equipped with two loading trolleys with the carrying capacity of 50 tons each and a trolley with a mobile instrumentation platform. The platform is equipped with a special manipulator that is a robot arm. A replaceable hinge tools are mounted directly on the manipulator to perform cutting, crushing, picking up, gripping and other operations. In addition, the main crane system includes a special trolley for moving a cabin shielded with lead. It is necessary for radiation safe movement of operating personnel directly to the shelter object structures. To ensure the technological processes associated with the dismantling of unstable structures and to transport them or their parts to a temporary storage area, the loading trolleys and trolleys with a mobile instrumentation platform can move freely from one crane bridge to another that enables remotely use the equipment necessary for lifting loads and performing other operations. Due to the fact that the shelter object structures which are subject to dismantling are practically support each other, their dismantling should be performed in sequence, reverse to their installation. Dismantling of metal reinforcement truss. The connecting metal truss is fixed on the thousand panels and the thousand hockey stick panels of the shelter object's roof. The length of the truss is 70 meters, width is 10 meters, the weight is more than 20 tons. The truss is fixed at the supporting brackets, welded to the installation hooks of the panels, and protrudes above the roof surface. The continuous structure of the truss consists of three blocks, so for dismantling it should be cut in the places of block junctions. Besides, the brackets by which the truss is connected with the roof elements should be cut. Cutting operations are performed using the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform. The air plasma cutting machine or mechanical hydraulic scissors is used as a working tool of the manipulator.
at the truss, as well as the slitting of the truss blocks, is carried out by operating personnel, lifted to the roof and removed from it using a shielded cabin of a crane. The dismantled truss blocks are transported to the temporary storage area by the eastern crane. Dismantling of inclined metal cover strip panels. The inclined metal cover strip panels rely on metal blocks of the turbine holes roof and on the thousand hockey stick panels. In total, 24 panels are subject to dismantling. Weight of each is about 4 tons. The metal cover strip panels are dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley by operating personnel, lifted to the turbine holes roof in the shielded cabin. Preparation for dismantling of metal block of the panels consists in cutting the ceiling cover strips made of sheet steel to separate the metal blocks from each other and from the supporting panels. The strip covers are cut by operating personnel using a manual air plasma cutting machine. The metal cover strip panels are dismantled in the east to west direction. Metal blocks are gradually slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane's trolley, which move them to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of the thousand hockey stick panels. The thousand hockey stick panels are part of the thousand zone of the shelter object's roof. The total length of the block is 27 meters and the width is 6 meters. In total, 12 panels, about 32 tons each, are subject to dismantling. The thousand hockey stick panels are dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley and with the involvement of operating personnel lifted to the roof in the shielded cabin. Preparation for the panel's dismantling consists in the preliminary dismantling of cover strips made of sheet steel to separate panels from each other. Cutting of self-tapping screws that fix cover strips to the panel structures is carried out by personnel using a manual tool. The thousand hockey stick panels are dismantled in the west to east direction. Metal blocks are sequentially slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane's trolley, which moves them to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of pipelines of the dust suppression system. The dust suppression system pipelines are located throughout the entire area of the light roof over the piping covering. The dust suppression system includes three main pipelines, which are located on the roof, and branch pipes to each of 49 nozzles. The total weight of existing pipelines, together with the supporting structures, is more than 3 tons. Operations on the dust suppression system pipelines dismantling are carried out by the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform. Mechanical hydraulic shears and hydraulic grippers are used as a working tool of the manipulator. In some cases, operating personnel can be involved. Elements of pipelines and auxiliary constructions are loaded into a container, which is moved by the eastern crane to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of light roof metal structures. Preparation for the panel's dismantling consists in dismantling of the cover strips made of shaped steel to separate panels from each other. Cutting of self-tapping screws that fix the cover strips to the panel structures is carried out by operating personnel using a manual tool.
the light roof panels are installed on a piping roof arranged above the central hall. The total length of each block is 36 meters and the width is 6 meters. In total, six blocks weighing more than 20 tons are subject to dismantling. The light roof metal structures are dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley and operating personnel. Dismantling of the light roof elements is performed in the west to east direction. Metal blocks are sequentially slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane's trolley, which moves them to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of the thousand panels. The thousand panels are part of the thousand zone structures of the shelter object's roof. In total, 12 panels will be dismantled. Due to differences in geometric dimensions, the panels have different weights. One of the panels weighs 31 tons, six panels 19 tons, and five panels 28 tons. The thousand panels are dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley and by operating personnel, lifted to the roof in the shielded cabin. Preparation for the thousand panels dismantling consists in dismantling of the cover strips to separate panels from each other. Dismantling of the thousand panels is performed in the west to east direction. The metal panels are sequentially slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane's trolley, which moves them to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of metal block cat house. The metal block cat house is part of the thousand zone structures of the shelter object's roof. 12 by 12 meters block, 3 meters high, has a weight of 23 tons. The metal block is dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley and operating personnel. The block is slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane trolley, moving it to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of mammoth beam. Considering the lifting capacity of the new safe confinement cranes, the mammoth beam will be cut in halves and dismantled by parts. For this purpose, an additional support structure will be installed. A place will be prepared for the installation of the additional support structure. This will require the removal of concrete debris. This work will be performed using a mobile instrumentation platform with a manipulator equipped with a gripping tool. The additional support structure is fixed on the counter ballast traverse. Using the eastern crane, the support structure is moved to the installation place and put under the branches of the mammoth beam. Reliability of the beam support is achieved by jacking of the upper frame of the additional support structure. The mammoth beam, which is installed along the destroyed wall of the deorator stack, consists of two branches of I-shaped section of varying height. The height of the thousand and northern branches of the beam in the middle part is four and five and a half meters respectively. Total length of the beam is 70 meters. Its weight is 127 tons. The branches of the mammoth beam are cut by the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform, the manipulator of which is equipped with an air plasma cutting tool. The beam is cut from top downward, at first the southern branch and then the northern branch respectively.
western cranes with loading trolleys, to hooks of which fixing gripping traverses are hung. At first the western and then the eastern part of the Memos beam are moved to the temporary storage site. After dismantling of the eastern half of the beam, the crane with the balancing traverse will move the additional support structure to its storage place. Dismantling of octopus beam. The octopus beam is located along the damaged wall of the derator stack, which borders on the turbine hull. The total length of the beam is 78 meters, the height is 0.8 meters and the weight is 52 tons. Preparation for dismantling of the octopus beam consists in preliminary unblocking of the beam steel structures to remove fasteners attached to the concrete support structures and cutting the beam into four parts. The beam is cut and separated from the support structures using the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform. The platform manipulator is equipped with an air plasma cutting machine. Personnel may be involved to control the performance of operations and, if necessary, to implement the final unblocking of the beam. The octopus beam parts are dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley and with the involvement of operating personnel. A part of the beam is slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane's trolley and moved to the temporary storage area. Cutting of the beam and dismantling of its parts is carried out in the east-west direction. Dismantling of the octopus beam parts is carried out using the eastern crane by operating personnel lifted to the area of work in the shielded cabin. The Memos beam, in the form of a special metal lattice structure, is installed on the destroyed structures of the western part of the derator stack. The beam support structure is 6 by 6 meters, 8 meters high and weighs 5 tons. Preparation for dismantling of the western support structure of the Memos beam consists in preliminary unblocking of the support steel structures to release them from the structure that we are connected to it during the stabilization process. Work on the separation of steel structures from the support structure is carried out using the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform, a manipulator of which is equipped with the appropriate tool. Operating personnel may be involved to control the performance of these operations and, if necessary, to implement the final unblocking of the beam. Dismantling of the support structure is carried out using the eastern crane with a loading trolley with the involvement of operating personnel. The western support structure of the beam is slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane's trolley and moved to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of steel separating frame of the eastern support structure of the Mammoth beam. The steel separating frame is installed at the top of the eastern support structure of the Mammoth beam. The frame is in the form of a spatial steel structure, 3 meters high in the middle part, weighs 23 tons. The separating frame is dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley with the involvement of operating personnel. The frame is slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane's trolley and moved to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of the eastern support structure of Mammoth Beam. The eastern support structure of Mammoth Beam is built on the damaged building structures of the eastern part of the derator stack. The support structure is in the form of a block 
consisting of different materials, including fragments of building structures, concrete spatial frames of the grid, and a monolithic part in the metal formwork. The height of the support structure is 9 meters. The size of the cross section varies from 4 to 7 meters. The total weight of the support materials is estimated as 500 tons. The eastern support structure is dismantled using the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform. The platform's manipulator, depending on the works, is sequentially equipped with tools for metal cutting, demolition of concrete, gripping and moving of fragments. The materials resulting from the process of dismantling are removed by the western crane to the temporary storage area. Removal of debris from the derator stack The removal of debris from the derator stack is performed by the eastern crane with a mobile instrumentation platform, a manipulator of which is sequentially equipped with tools for gripping and moving the fragments. In the process of this work, the fragments of structures are placed in large-sized reusable containers, which prevent spilling and dust formation during transportation. The reusable containers with the debris materials are transported to the temporary storage area by the western crane. The debris, that is the accumulation of destroyed building materials, is concentrated on the slab of the derator stack in the area approximately 13 meters in width, 66 meters in length and from 1 to 4 meters in height. The total weight of mixed materials and fragments of structures is estimated at more than 2,200 tons. Dismantling of the derator stacks flow slabs. All slabs that are located in the destroyed part of the derator stack are subject to dismantling. In total, 99 slabs have to be dismantled, 12 by 1.5 meters inside, weighing about 7 tons each. Preparation for dismantling of the floor slabs consists in their preliminary unblocking and disconnection from each other. The slabs are separated using the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform a manipulator of which is equipped with the appropriate tool. Operating personnel may be involved to control the performance of these operations and, if necessary, to implement the final unblocking. The separated slabs are slung by personnel and moved to the temporary storage area by the eastern crane. Dismantling of the Northern Hockey Stick Panels The Northern Hockey Stick Panels are a part of the northern zone of the shelter object's roof. The total length of the block is 18 meters and the width is 3 meters. In total, 18 panels, about 9 tons each, are subject to dismantling. The Northern Hockey Stick Panels are dismantled using the eastern crane with a loading trolley and with the involvement of operating personnel. Preparation for the metal panels dismantling consists in dismantling of cover strips to separate the panels from each other and cutting of the anchors by which they are connected with the northern cascade walls structures. Works on the separation of hockey stick panels from the brackets are carried out using the eastern crane with the mobile instrumentation platform, a manipulator of which is equipped with an air plasma cutting machine. Operating personnel may be involved to control the performance of these operations and, if necessary, to implement the final unblocking. The northern hockey stick panels are dismantled in the west to east direction. The panels are sequentially slung by personnel on the hook of the eastern crane trolley, which moves them to the temporary storage area.
Atlan of the block Mouse House. The Mouse House block is a part of the northern zone structures of the shelter object's roof. The metal block is 9 by 6 meters, 3 meters in height and weighs about 7 tons. The mouse house block is dismantled by the western crane using a loading trolley to move it to the temporary storage area. Dismantling of the piping roof The piping roof, consisting of 27 metal pipes with a diameter of more than 1 meter, is located above the destroyed central hole. The elements of the piping roof are in free resting contract upon the northern and southern beams B2. The weight of one pipe is about 20 tons. The pipes are dismantled by joint operation of two loading trolleys moving along the eastern crane's bridge. Hooks of the loading trolleys are equipped with the grippers for remote slinging of pipes applying the devices used during their installation. The dismantled elements of the piping roof are moved to the temporary storage area by the crane.